Hi, Hillary here. Um, this is St. Anne's Reel, kind of a fairly noty New Englandy tune uh, in the key of D. We're going to be playing it in a double D tuning. Um, and therefore your kind of home base there for your hand is going to be there. Um, you return your finger there whenever possible. Um, so yeah, Gary just had a lesson um, in this tune, and this is going to reinforce that, give him a reference, and uh, maybe you can learn a little bit from it too. So um, I'm going to play the tune through for you um, once so you can hear how it sounds. Um, we're not going to try to play every note the fiddle would play, because that's not our job. kind of a challenging tune um, in some ways. So here we go. We're going to start with a brush that is a real sl our slow kind of arpeggiated, use all your strings kind of a brush. A lot of times when you think of a bum ditty you think of the first note being a, a single note and then a brush. And, but in this case, it's kind of different. It's a brush and then ditty. Now, you can change that up a little bit, and sometimes I do, by instead of going brush ditty to start, you could go hammer on ditty. Okay? So you'll see me do those interchangeably. Or, okay? So let's just start off with that hammer on, because that's kind of a fun thing. So... And then the next thing we're going to do is hit that first string again and pull off that first string. And then hit the second string and then hammer on at the second fret, the third, uh, the second string at the second fret. Excuse me, the third string at the second fret. So So you're hitting the open second, the open second string, but you're hammering on the third string. Thir second string, third string, and then that same string that you just hammered on, open, and then fourth string, fourth fret, bum bum. Now a ditty, ditty. So again. Okay, there's your first line. You could just, you don't have to have that hammer on the beginning, you could go. Now we're going to make a G chord, which is like this in the key of D. This would be the note that would you play here, but we're just not going to play that string. Okay. Um, now make that G chord, and you're gonna you're gonna go do two bum ditties, one on the open third string, and then one on the second string. Both times you're just leaving that chord on there. Bum ditty, bum. And now the same one, the same finger where you was there on the chord, you're gonna take it off and you're gonna go hammer on, baby. It's the 
it's, it's just like that. Hammer-on, baby. And then we're going to pull off fourth string, fourth fret. Pull off, ditty. Now notice for that ditty, that ditty, I've gone, my, my finger has gone right back to my home place. So here's that line slowly a couple times. Um, diddy, bum, diddy, now run, diddy, pull off, diddy. Again, G chord. Um, diddy, bum, diddy, now run, diddy, pull off, diddy. Now the third line is exactly like the first line. And to end it, as this often happens, it's a little bit different. So you're going to make the G chord. Bum, diddy. Now, this is another, this is an A chord. It's like this. So this is a uh, ring finger on the third fret at the fourth, I mean the third string at the fourth fret. And then index finger at the second string, second fret. Doesn't sound like much, and don't play the fourth string. Don't play the fourth string. So it's bum diddy bum diddy. Now we're gonna go. Just leave this finger on here. So that's a drop thumb. So you're gonna hit the first string with your right hand, and then you're, th you're with a thumb of your right hand the second string, and then you and leaving leaving this right where it was. And then you're coming down and hitting the third string, that C sharp note. Drop thumb and, and now to finish we're gonna kind of um, end up just on that D, that second string. But we put our finger back here. Don't hit the first string just because you're putting your finger on your first string. You gotta hit the second string. Bum, diddy, bum. that slowly. Even slower. Oops. A part. You'd play that twice because this is a regular 32 bar tune, so you have two A's and two B's. So you've played the A part, that whole thing we just went over, twice, on to the B. Okay, there's the first line. So it's strum, diddy, pull off, and then second string, and then the fifth, fifth fret of the first string. So it's, uh, this is on the first string, fifth, third, third, but you're going to put that G chord down there. So you're going to hit, leave that G chord on there and hit the third string. Bum, diddy, bum, diddy. So just... So the seventh, fifth, fifth, diddy. just like the first line. I think this is just like the last line of the, of the B part. So, so it's the G, this is the last line of the B part is G, A, and then drop 
drop thumb and um, that's exactly like the last line of the A part. So the whole tune, or the whole B part slowly.